Good thing about getting heavier is you have no wrinkles. Do you ever notice that? No. Hi, everyone. It's Madge and Rachel Can again. Madge Weinstein, Rachel Can. How are you, Rachel? Lonely. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're back today. We still don't have a name for our candy review show, but we're going to be reviewing more candies today. Lard. We went to this lovely store here in uh, Wilton Manors, Florida, called To The Moon Marketplace. We shouldn't be promoting them because they didn't give it to us for free, but since we don't have sponsors anyway, we might as well. Mm -hmm. So what do we have today to try out? What do we have? Toxic things. Okay. We have exploding wasabi. They're like... Nasty Pop Rocks, probably. Mm-hmm. I think they look lovely. Let's try them, shall oh, we? Lord. What are you doing? Describe it, please, as you're doing it. That's how we do it on the television. It smells like piss. So am I supposed to do my own or no, what? No, let's just do one. So what do you do with it? Just put it in my mouth? I don't... No, just, first just smell how awful. Oh, my God. It really smells like wasabi. It actually it smells not, worse it smells than worse. wasabi. Yeah. It smells like a Chinese... Like roach gas, farm. Gas station Chinese food. If you've ever been in Chinatown, you see where they sell fish candy, like dried fish with the candy. Like it smells shrimp. like dried fish. So what are we going to do now? Eat it? I think we just, I think let's just pick some up and eat it. Should I go first? Yes, please. Looks like glint, actually. Uh, oh, my God. So I'm just going to eat it. Can you hear that? It's like a pop rock, except gross. Yeah, like a pop rock, except gross. That's Let's correct, Rachel. Here, if we need I don't need to spit it. It's not spicy. It just tastes bad. What do you think? I hate it. Why? Oh. More for me. Let's see. I'm fat, and I'll eat anything. It shows. Oh, thanks. Well... I would say we have to not recommend the exploding wasabi candy because it is disgusting. Next is the sizzling bacon candy by the same people. It doesn't have actual bacon in it, I hope, because I'm a vegan. Aren't you? It doesn't. It says artificial bacon flavor. Mm, that sounds like carbon dioxide. Was... Seriously? I guess yes. that's what pops. Well, crap, it was made in China. So, mm, so it's made out of dead people. Okay. So. Give me some. So this is the same sort of texture, but it's... Pink, pink, like a dead pig. Pink. It looks like Pepto Bismol in cube form. Mmm. It tastes a lot like that. It's like sweet bacon. Ah. No. <laughs> it's really disgusting. Like it tastes like bacon at first, but then it just. Look at my hand. It's all pink, like my lips. Oh, that's from my lips. I thought it was from the pork rock. The pork rock. I'll still eat it because I'm a fat food addict. How much was this? Three dollars. Each? Yeah. We just spent six dollars, audience. Please give us donations. Go to yeastradio.com and follow the donations. Mm -hmm. Rachel. Next we yeah. have our dead aborted babies. Okay, yeah. so this is really interesting. Hang on. I want to explain this before you eat it. Because this we read, first of all, I think it's a little racist. It's called, what, what is the name of it? Chocolate Babies. Chocolate Babies, which you see sounds racist. And they look like little... Dead corpses of babies. And they're, they're really just... I think they're being racist because to me it looks like they're actually making fun of black people. These, these are American candies that were common in the 50s. I read about this. But that you don't have them anymore because now it's Get your ass down, considered horrible and racist, I imagine. Everything's considered racist. And America. it's made of the same stuff that Tootsie Rolls are made of. So let's try. Let's see what we think about this. They're like chewier than Tootsie Rolls. Mm hmm I like them a lot. Mm hmm We're good. Also, I ate most of them already. Let's so, not forget our cotton oh yeah. candy that you ate. Oh, yeah, I ate it all, so we won't be trying that. They were good, though. My favorite. Haribo European. Yes. Yeah. Show the camera close slowly so they can get a good view. Let's look at the back. It's, it looks like the English mix of licorice, but it's not just licorice, right? It also has gummy. There's different flavors, so let's try these first. Right. They look like so this is sushi white rolls. With a little bit of, I imagine, licorice inside. Mmm, that's good. It's a licorice with a coconut on the outside. I think it's a little too much sweet. I don't want my, my licorice mix with that much sweet, but okay. This is a little smaller. Hamburger. Mm -hmm. 
So it looks like a brownish licorice inside mm. some sort of brown duty. I like this better. Mm. Yeah. Right Ooh, bats. Bats. Cheap, 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 cheap. Mm. That's good. We really need next time something to cleanse our palate. Milk. Oh. I'm just a little girl with my milk. Who puts milk in their tea? Like British yeah. people. Don't I know, but why? I don't know. It tastes good, actually. It's kind of weird not to, if you think about it. To put cream in your coffee, not your tea, it's the same damn thing. What is that orange thing? I don't know. Is there only one? Yeah. Split it. Rachel can. Rachel can's lost a lot of weight. Um, from it's teaching Zumba classes. Oh, are these those yummy hard. things? Those are my favorite Haribos. <gasps> oh my God! Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those are amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. they're, I forget what they're called. European audience, I know you know what I'm talking about. The Haribo, the little eggs. What? Tell us the name, somebody. Mm -hmm. If you guys are from Europe and you want us to try your native candy, Send it, and we will have yeah, free candy. Absolutely, especially. And we will review it, especially European candy, or anything baking. And specifically, we would like to have Kinder Eggs, <gasps> yes. and we would like to have the Ritter Sport trial the samples because we can't get them here. The little the little sample set of Ritters, we'd like that. Yes, yeah, okay. some candy. We have oh, these no. little I, orange. That's just another one of the same. It's just but another it's like coconut. Orange. No. I don't think so. Mmm. Ah, it is coconut, except. It's weird. Well, yeah. I think I got rabies. It tastes like those like Florida things that everyone brings back from Florida. Oh, those Key West horrible things. Mm -hmm, like their neighbors wash their mail or something. Mm -hmm. Let's try this raspberry. Is there only one? Mm-hmm. Boy, they're kind of chintzy on this Haribo. Horrible. Except it's not horrible. It's good. It is. It's a good excuse to buy candy. Mm -hmm. Even though somebody should have bought it for us. Mm. It tastes like bacon. Was that in the bacon goo? It does not taste like bacon. Yeah, it does. I think it was in the bacon goo. Or is that a booger? It's a coconut. Mm. All right. Did we try everything in there? I'm kind of over we that. We didn't try it. You can take the rest of those. I'm yes! Gonna, I'm going to say you can buy it for them. I'm going to But I think we've done all those. Okay, next. I'll take the rest of these, though, because I love these. Mm -hmm. This candy was brought to you by us, even though we bought it from To The Moon Marketplace, Wilton Manors. So if you want us to do this show, continue it. We'd love to have you. But if you want us to continue, then send us some goddamn money. <laughs> or candy. Do you have anything to add? Loadedlesbian at gmail.com, yeastradio.com. You can donate from yeastradio.com. Send us some goddamn. Yes. Email me, bloatedlesbian at gmail. I'm not going to get a post office box unless this venture proves worthwhile. So meanwhile, just email me and I'll get you the place to send it turd. Have a nice time, everyone. Oh, and look forward to a new uh, made box from a new candy uh, subscribing oh, oops, service. Uh, and the Bean Boozle Challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. A nice donation from the audience for that. Uh. See you later.